again for another word in review. Um, this week's message was with God, part five, subtitled above steel. And the scripture was 2 Samuel 22, verses 29 to 35. Now, everyone knows I love my diagrams. And last time that I spoke, um, I had a flow chart. This week, I have a mind map. And the mind map is basically my thoughts of what the the service basically this is what i felt um and there was one thing that pastor mentioned and he said he is not limited by how i feel once i heard that it was game over i did not listen to the rest of the message which you should guys everybody listen to your the, the whole of the message but once i heard that that's all i focused on for the rest of the the service and around my mind map were the things that pastor was basically reiterating through the scriptures that he talks about and basically a counteract to what this is and I will explain but some of the things that it says is Jesus is my power he strengthens me um, I have no reason to fear he is my rock he gave us life he's my buckler he's my shield he's my light and salvation God is my strength I will never remain the same once I've met Jesus and this basically brought the basis and the foundation of not depending on our emotion and not depending on our flesh. And I'll give you an example. Sometimes when I get into a situation and I feel sad or fearful or anxious or whatever, I equate that emotion and I put that on Jesus and how he feels in my mind. And that is essentially limiting him as a person. Like I would feel like, oh, I'm sad. And I, and I would kind of self-isolate myself in. No one can help me. No one's there for me. That's not true. According to my mind map and what Pastor was talking about on Sunday, which he basically reiterated, Jesus can help anybody. Even in your times of struggle where you think there is no way out, Jesus strengthens me. Jesus is my power, my rock and my salvation. He is always going to be there. And I think it was so encouraging um, it was kind of a message where, you know, when parents or like teachers are like, wake up, wake up, get up on your feet and start again. It's like a jump start. Like you don't have to, you don't categorically depend on your emotion. You depend on Jesus. He can, he will never fail you. He will never forsake you. He will always be there. He's always the person that you can lean on. Even when you think you can't lean on him, he's always there. And it was such a powerful message of protection, of comfort, of assurance and sturdiness in our faith. Um, and just a thing of let's continue to build our trust on God. There is no way that we can build our trust on anything in this world. Even the people that you really think are there for you. Jesus is more there for you than they are. And it's not a kind of self-isolation kind of message. It's a thing of remember who you put your trust in and remember that he will always be there for you and that's Jesus and that's such a beautiful message so I hope that you got something from my mind map and I suggest also just to sometimes when you're in a message hear what the Lord is saying and even if you don't hear anything else ask the Lord to really just focus yourself on the message and get what you actually need and You'll have a beautiful week. So stay blessed, stay tuned, be there next Sunday. Have a wonderful week. Bye.